Hey there, Newton here. Glad to see you back here for more bite-sized tutorial series for FPS. Now that we have our shooting mechanics, it's now time to make something that we can shoot at. So open up Kudo and let's create our enemy scene. Let's create a kinematic body for it. Then rename it to enemy. Let's add a mesh instance and create a capsule shape. Set the radius to 0.5 and X rotation to 90 degrees. Let's change its color. Let's make it red. Next, we'll add its collision shape. Make it also a capsule shape, then set the radius to 0.5 and rotation of X to 90. We're going to set it to the enemy group. Select the root scene, then click the node tab on the right side. Type in enemy, then press add. You will notice that there will be a box with a circle inside, which indicates that this scene is within a group. Let's save the enemy scene inside the new folder within the actor. We'll name it enemy. Let's add the enemy script. First, we will add the variables for the enemy. We'll also be extending it with a setter function which triggers every time our variable changes value. Now, we will add the code that triggers when the enemy health is changed. We'll be fixing some things over to the bullet scene. To make our bullet more accurate when detecting collision body, we need to change its type to a kinematic body. To do that, we just need to right click the root rigid body then press change type and select kinematic body. Then for the script, we'll extend it to a kinematic body instead. Next, we'll replace the apply impulse into a move and slide function. Then adjust the speed, then we're all set. To add the damage function for our bullet, we will add the damage variable. On the body entered function, we will have a statement that triggers when the bullet collided with an enemy. Let's add the enemies to our sandbox scene. Great job everyone! We created the enemy we can shoot at. On the next episode, we'll create a simple AI script for the enemy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon. Hit like and comment out what you enjoyed on our tutorial series. Until then, take one step at a time and cheers!